What up, family? Now, it's been a little minute now since the Rico done went down. We have seen a lot of different combos come into play. We have seen a lot of different more evidence come into play. We even seen a lot of different celebrities get behind Ghana protesting for Ghana to come home because they feel like Ghana wrongly, you know, arrested for these charges. Now it was out on the table about the Ghana as far as the violent charges supposed to be swept, but the other charges supposed to be there. Which when you got the RICO, you know, I knew that they is gonna charge everybody with the same demo. Everybody got the same charges and, and that's what's going on to where they taking them all to trial at the same time. So what one can get, the other can get. This is a scary situation, fam. Now, we have seen Thugger protested and gone up with their lawyers going back and forth to court, you know, to different hearings, mainly bond hearings, because we all know that when you out, you able to fight something more than being from the inside. You able to have more contacts with your lawyer when you need, and get a whole bunch of more stuff done because the money don't slow down. This is how they kill you because your money slow down. There ain't no shows. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 none of that. So the money that Thug and them had put up, they spending on net money and they spending extra money to make sure these lawyers tighten up and do what they need to do to get them boys up out of there. Now, this is the third bond hearing, fam, that gonna been denied. And they was thinking that they was he was gonna get a bond because of them pushing the date back, the prosecutors. And, and the judge is allowing the prosecutors to run all over this case and they denying the bond found. And let me tell you something from experience. When they don't want you out, they denying your bond. That's mean they want you in, especially on a situation like this because it can be, it's, I think it was three, four of them that was out, but the rest of them in. So when it come to gunner going up, a lot of times, you know, you, a person ain't got to say nothing. You, you can read the weather. You can read the aura. You know what I'm saying? Of what's going on. And when it comes to going up on charges like this or any other charges and they denying your bond for the third time, it look like they're going to want you to do some type of time and they got good evidence to hold you in on what they holding you in for. It's sad to see all this light gone on. It's sad to see artists like Thug or any other artist that was making good music end up getting in situations like this, fam, to where they fighting for their life, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? And guilty by association. In today's time we living in, it's a lot of individuals like to take pictures and go live. So you're able to see where places these individuals be. You know, you're able to see uh, people who they're around and they came with this RICO thing, fam, to really lock it down to where we can't figure it out what a RICO case is. If we cannot figure it out, we're just going to stick it to you like this. Because they know a lot of these cats out here, fam, real street smart. Like raised, a lot of us was born in the game, fam. You know, born in the streets. And when you've been out there that many moons, you know, moving around, and doing your thing, you tend to get street smart uh, towards the police and how the police move. So that's why they came with this RICO. And the evidence be circumstantial evidence that can stand up and convict a dude like Gunner. Can you imagine the way Gunner feeling? Can you imagine the way Thug feeling? You know what I'm saying? After all the success. And then, because it hit harder. I keep telling people, it hit harder. After you done had all the success they had to go to what's going on now, fam, it hit you harder than just being a broke on the street and you just need a break from the street. I mean, they was out there millionaires moving around, feeding families. Thug had just bought land. On top of that, Thug had lost peoples and baby mama, you know, her recently. So it's just out of hand, man. And this is what the streets will do for you. This is what fake partners will do for you, fam. Because at the end of the day, Ain't nothing surrounded around the streets but death or jail. 
like straight up at the end of the day. And what I mean by the end of the day, you can see through all these years, they was investigating thugs. They was out there partying, kicking it, whatever the case might be. But at the end of the day, when it all said and done, this is what happened. Jail or hell, fam. So I will keep y'all updated on situations, man. But make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.